Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how CloudFormation service works. So to go to CloudFormation, click on services and you should be able to find CloudFormation's right below management tools or you can filter it in the search box itself. So now once you have gone to CloudFormation, you'll see a couple of options here. So you can either create a template or a stack. So template basically tells what kind of resource you want to provision uh, whereas stack is kind of an end result of the template. So first you would create a template of the resources that uh, you need CloudFormation to create for you and then finally you supply this template to a stack and stack will go ahead and provision all those resources for you. So let's go ahead and uh, create a template uh, first and then we'll use that to create a stack and deploy our resources. So before we do that, uh, just a quick update. Uh, CloudFormation, just like Elastic Beanstalk, is, uh, is a free service. So you do not actually pay for uh, CloudFormation, but you do pay for the resources that you provision underneath. So for example, let's say you want you create you want to create a couple of EC2 instances using uh, this CloudFormation, then you won't pay for the CloudFormation templates that you create, but you would have to pay for the EC2 instances uh, that CloudFormation uh, provisions for you. So let's go ahead and create a template now. So to do that, uh, click on Design Template. And once you create that, uh, you will see a new UI where uh, you can basically drag and drop uh, multiple AWS services and uh, create a template out of it. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so just to give a quick overview of this UI, uh, on the left hand side you have multiple services that you wish to configure and provision using uh, the CloudFormation template. Uh, you can just drag and drop onto this uh, particular rendering area. On the, on the, on the bottom you have a couple of tabs uh, that basically basically separates out uh, the properties and configurations that you need to do for that resource and finally uh, there's a template tab where you would see the entire template. Uh, next you have two types of formats that you can use for uh, this template you can either go to go a, a, JSON, temp a JSON format or a YAML format so in for this video I'm going to stick with JSON format but if you are comfortable with YML uh, you can go ahead and use that uh, so for this video I'm just gonna uh, create a simple S3 bucket uh, using CloudFormation template uh, just to give you an uh, idea of how CloudFormation works so let's go ahead to S3 and drag and drop bucket onto this rendering area so once you select click on this you will see that certain uh, JSON uh, formats are already populated in these tabs. Uh, we'll go over those in some time. But before we do that, uh, let's go ahead and right click on this particular component. And you would see that there are a couple of options here. So you have uh, option to edit properties. You can either uh, you know duplicate this particular uh, resource. You can delete it or you, you have a link to documentation as well. So let's go ahead and click on the documentation and this is the documentation for creating an S3 bucket uh, using the CloudFormation template. So we'll come come back to this in a moment. So let's go back to our CloudFormation template. So in the properties, you basically define what kind of resources you, you are creating. Uh, so in this case, it is uh, S3. Uh, and in the properties, you would add uh, if you have any, if you want to configure any properties related to S3. Uh, similarly, you have other tabs like for example condition or if this particular resource creation depends on some other uh, resource that you want to create and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go back to the documentation now and you can see this example uh, that the type is AWS S3 bucket which, which we saw was already pre-populated for us and there are like some Pro properties example that are provided here. Uh, the important uh, property is the bucket name. So this basically uh, tells what bucket name uh, AWS should use to create, right? So if, if you haven't given that this, then CloudFormation will generate a unique ID and use that as a bucket name. So let's go ahead and configure this bucket over here inside properties. Let's name it ATACOR9091. E 
and uh, so that's pretty much it so this should be enough to create a bucket uh, of uh, name ataco 1991 uh, but just keep in mind that this uh, bucket will be created in the same region where we have uh, this cloud formation template so you can look at the uh, top right you can see for me it is Asia Pacific Mumbai so uh, it will be created in this particular region but you can go ahead and change it to any other region that you want right so uh, that was one thing that I wanted to do the next thing that I wanted to do is uh, configure the deletion policy so uh, by default uh, when a stack gets created uh, it will provision the underlying resources like S3 in this case however when you delete the stack uh, the provisioned uh, bucket will also get deleted and if you do not want that behavior if you want to retain uh, the S3 bucket when the stack is deleted then uh, you can provide that particular setting over here so you can go back to the documentation and see how it works uh, you can see that uh, there's a deletion policy attribute so if you click on it uh, it will navigate you to a page uh, that basically it speaks more about the del this deletion policy attribute and you can see that if you want to retain the S3 policy on deletion you can just uh, put the value as retain so let's go ahead and do that uh, put the deletion policy as retain and uh, you can go to template now and see the entire template in a single go uh, you can see that your bucket name is ethaku 1991 and the deletion policy is retain so let's go ahead and save this uh, policy to our local so let's go ahead and save it as a local policy uh, we'll probably call it ethakur s3 cloud formation dot template and save it uh, let's me save it to my desktop now once you have done that let's go back to the cloud formation uh, service yes please and now now that we have already created a template let's go ahead and create a stack so you can click on create stack and we are going to upload uh, the file that we have saved so it was ethacor s3 cf template and once you have selected click on next and here you have to give the stack name let's call it ethacor s3 cf stack click on next uh, you can provide tags if you want to uh, associate it with your stack let's call it version uh, probably 1.0 uh, you can also optionally provide uh, a IAM role or rollback triggers uh, so let, let me go over uh, some parts of rollback triggers so the default behavior of cloud formation is that uh, when it is provisioning multiple resources uh, as defined in the cloud formation template and if some part of the provisioning fails then what cloud formation does is it will basically roll back all the resources that it may have provisioned uh, before before the time uh, as some of the uh, resource provision fail right so let's say you have you are provisioning an rds instance and couple of ec2 instances and uh, cloud formation has already provisioned rds and is in the process of uh, provisioning the ec2 instances which somehow fails then it will go ahead and roll back the rds instance as well so that is the default behavior of uh, cloud formation and this is the uh, monitoring time for that so you can click on the i to get uh, more information so it says amount of time during which cloud formation should monitor all rollback triggers after the stack creation or update operation deploys all necessary resources right uh, also you have advanced option where you can s set multiple notification uh, methods like uh, sns uh, to get uh, notifications of your deployment uh, of provisioning resources so i'm going to keep the those as default and click on next now it you will see uh, basically uh, overview of uh, the things that you have selected so far uh, let's go ahead and click on create now you can see that we have created a stack named ethacore s3 cf and you can see it is in create in progress process uh, you can click on the stack and you can see the events that are uh, happening so uh, you can go actually go ahead and in s3 and see if our s3 bucket is now created 
So there we go. As you can see, it is uh, ataco 1991s3 bucket is created. So CloudFormation has done that. Uh, you can see the timestamp as well. It is March 31st, 10 uh, 10 p.m., uh, which is our current time. So let's go back to the st stack and. Uh, so it, it will take some time to reflect the changes here so let's go back to the stack and there we go you can see that uh, the creation is completed and the S3 is created so you can see some other uh, things associated with the stack here so for example output so in this case we have not configured any output in the template but let's say if you are configuring a, a load balancer or a web server and you need want to know the public IP or the load balancer URL uh, then you can uh, modify your template to output those uh, parameters so uh, let's go ahead and see uh, if our deletion policy works so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and delete this stack and uh, hopefully rs3 buckets should still be there uh, when it is when the cloud formation uh, template is deleted because we had set the retention policy uh, deletion policy as retain right so let's go ahead and delete this stack and you can see that the deletion is in process you can again alright so that was fast uh, the stack is deleted now let's go ahead to s3 and refresh this and you can see that the bucket is still there right so that is pretty much it about cloud formations uh, you, you, you can either create your own template or you can use one of the templates that is provide, provided by AWS uh, then finally you create a new stack based on this template and uh, the stack will go ahead and provision all the resources that you have defined uh, in the in your template so let me know if you have any questions thank you